Hi, uh, today I will cover intercepting filter design pattern implementation. I will show you the sample code and I will show you the class diagram of the sample code also. Uh, and uh, before you watch this video, please log into my channel and watch uh, intercepting filter design pattern uh, introduction and uh, intercepting filter design pattern uh, class diagram and sequence diagram where I have explained uh, clearly about uh, what is intercepting filter design pattern, where to use, how to use, etc. So first to watch those uh, videos, then come and watch this video so that you will understand very clearly. Okay, now we, we will see the class diagram of the sample code uh, which I am going to show. Okay, and uh, here uh, you can see a uh, uh, filter interface. Uh, it has a process request and uh, this interface is implemented by uh, two concrete classes. Uh, first one is a logging filter another one is authentication filter so this filter is responsible for uh, uh, authenticating the user uh, okay so user will provide username and password so this uh, this process request will verify the username and password is proper or not and uh, that is our cuff authentication filter and the logging filter what it will do is uh, it will uh, track the request it will just log the request so basically these filters are used to uh, pre-processing the request or uh, post-processing the request okay and uh, next one is uh, filter chain and uh, this uh, filter chain is uh, responsible for uh, executing the filters in the proper order basically this filter chain will contain collection of uh, filters what it will do is it will iterate through each filters and execute all the filters in the proper order and then it will execute the target okay that is a work of uh, filter chain and uh, filter manager uh, the basic responsibility of this filter manager is uh, it will create the filter chain and it will add the filters in the filter chain in proper order then it will initiate the filter processing that is a work of uh, filter manager okay you can see client here uh, the client send a request to the filter manager and uh, this filter manager it creates the filter chain and add the filters using this uh, add filter method and then it will uh, initiate the uh, filter processing by execute uh, this method okay and this filter chain will uh, uh, iterate all the filters in the filters collection and execute one by one and then uh, once it finishes the uh, execution of all filters in the collection then it will execute the target okay this is the way it will work I will show you the code okay so here uh, you can see all the classes uh, which I show in the class diagram uh, I will open uh, class diagram so you, you can see a uh, client filter manager filter chain right so you'll open these three classes client filter manager filter chain and uh, next is uh, filter interface uh, logging filter and authentication filter filter interface logging filter authentication filter and then the final one is uh, target class okay so we will go from client so you can see uh, what this uh, client does is it is uh, creating the filter manager interface and uh, calling the filter manager constructor so in the constructor of filter manager what we are doing is we are creating the filter chain and then uh, setting the target to the filter chain okay so basically this filter manager will uh, create the filter chain and add the filters right so the first step is it is creating the filter chain and uh, setting the target then uh, filter manager dot set filter filter manager dot set filter what we are doing is we are setting the authentication filter and logging filter so this set filter what uh, what it will do is uh, it will add the it will add the filter in the filter chain so you can see so first uh, 
so two times we are calling first we are calling using authentication filter second time we are calling using login filter so two filters will be added in the filter chain okay so add filter what it will do is it will so you can see here add filter what it is doing is it is adding in the filters uh, array list right okay next what we are doing is uh, this client is sending a request to the filter uh, manager okay the request is coming here and filter manager dot filter request so already uh, the filter manager uh, created the filter chain and added the filters in the filter chain then uh, it is initiating the process by calling the execute method of the filter uh, chain okay so what this filter chain execute method does is uh, it is iterating all the filters in the array list and it process the request one by one so currently there are two filters so it will execute two filters process uh, request method so it will execute authentication filter process request and logging filter process request so this method will be executed and it will print authenticating request by authentication filter and uh, next filter this one will be executed and it will print request tracking is done by logging filter and the request uh, name so once it finishes the uh, execution of all filters then it uh, executes the target uh, process request so finally it will print uh, process request by the target class right so it is very simple so the client class what we are doing is we are uh, setting the filter manager and uh, in the filter manager we are uh, uh, setting up the authentication filter or logging filter and the filter manager what it does is it is creating the filter chain and adding the filters once it added the filters then uh, it is uh, executing the or initiating the uh, intercepting uh, filter by calling the execute method so filter chain execute method it iterates so all the filters execute all the filters uh, process request method then finally it executes the target method we will see the output of uh, this program okay so you can see uh, uh, these two are filters right authentication filter and logging filter so we are sending the request home so it went to the fil uh, filter manager and filter manager uh, initiate the process in filter chain in filter chain it read the filters and executed the authentication filter and logging filter the output you can see here then finally once it finishes the execution of all filter it executed the target class uh, uh the target class process request okay this is the output of this one so this is a sample of uh, uh, intercepting uh, filter manager and uh, i have uh, i have put this sample code in my blog called uh, robjt.blogspot.in uh, so you can uh, log into my uh, blogspot and you can see the sample code etc okay and uh, this is about intercepting filter design pattern uh, uh, implementation. Thanks for watching. Bye.